We just watched a movie. Let's talk about it. Dun, 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 dun. Let's, not, let's not get copyrighted here. Do you think we get copyrighted for saying it? Yet? No. Someone got like copyright, like um, copyright, like sued for like saying the color red or blue without sanction. They like, they, like you have to. I think you have to pay what? someone to use the color blue. <laughs> I don't know. The color. I, I just, I just, I just <laughs> like use the what color blue and say I don't know. I don't. I don't know, bro. People just, just be trying. People just be trying to make money, bro. Make I'm actually like, getting copyrighted for using. A- I might be. Tri- I might be tripping, but I feel like they. I, 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 I've yeah, seen I'll be that. Mad, somewhere. bro. All right. Mm. I just have to search this up. But yeah, we um we just watched the movie They Clone Tyrone on Netflix. Let's put the poster like right here, right here. I just want the power to have the poster. No, we put it in the center. We put it in the center. All right. Um, So, the clone Tyrone Netflix original. Can we look up the cast so we can know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, No, it had the goat Jamie Fox as usual. But they have this new girl, this new actor. I never seen her before. I don't think she's a new actor. I just like yeah. We just don't recognize her. We don't recognize her because she looked familiar. This is this. Okay. Um, John Boyega. I remember him from Star oh, Wars. Oh shit! Yo, yo, look beautiful, more beautiful. Damn. Wait, go ahead. I feel like I know who what she played in. Nah, she didn't play Domino. I'm telling you. No, I know she didn't play Domino. I know she played in another. Is, movie. We're looking at Taeyeon Paris. Taeyeon Paris. Damn. Oh, oh, oh she, 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 oh, she was Miss Marvel. Yeah, she was Miss Marvel. No, no, Cap- is it Captain? Cap- Captain. Captain. Oh, no, no. oh, she was like the variant. Captain she was the Marvel. Sony that, from um, that, from Scarlet Witch. From yeah, on WandaVision. Yeah. Oh, her, yeah. that's why she looks so familiar. That's why I was like, okay. And then the goat Jamie Fox, you know. And then they have my boy Tom Kirkman, president from the uh, designated survivor. Designated survivor. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. a good show. But it's a very well-rounded cast we got yeah. here. Hey, she they got a black boyfriend. Wrong. I'm happy. No, <laughs> I'm hating. You rather a white guy on her? No, I just okay. Well, it's a matter of which one. And I understand that. I'm feel. I'm not feeling on that one. Oh wow, she looks great for 35 though. I know. Right? 35. I thought she was in her 20s. Black don't cry at all. Definitely not. But yeah, let's get back to the topic at hand. We talk about they clone Tyrone. Which was one of the most blackest names they could have used <laughs> for the no- movie title, Tyrone. They definitely had a lot of um, uh, references to our world, which we're definitely going to talk about. Yeah. But first, let's just talk about, like, what do we think of the movie here? Like, First, let's explain the plot first, right? We should. So, basically, um, oh, this is mine. That's something. My boy trying to find the right selfie for us. <laughs> <laughs> but recording yeah. with the homies. <laughs> for, uh, what? Uh, yeah. So let's see if you can. Right. Let's see who explains the plot the best here. All right. So basically, this is about uh, a guy named Fonte who was doing his normal drug dealing stuff and was uh, found himself on the receiving end of bullets. Right. Later, it turned out that he came back. Right, and they, they came to the conclusion that he was cloned. Right, he found this out with his uh, use part. No idea. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with, with his two accomplices, Slickback Charles, a pimp. We could tell by the slick part, right? And the yo yo, huh? And the yo yo, <laughs> yo. A pimp named Slickback. Yeah, that's what he, Slick Charles. Slick, but that was it's a reference to the Bulldogs. Remember? Yeah, so but pimp named Slickback. Yeah, and also like the like the audio. Like some of the music that they chose, it was rough. Like it sounded like the same as the Boondocks. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. So he had his accomplices, Slick Charles and Yo Yo, right? One being a pimp, one being a prostitute, and him being a drug dealer. And they worked together, and found themselves going to different black establishment, well, black focus establishments. And when I say black focus, I mean companies. So basically, they went to uh, <clears throat> places that are often visited by black people and targeted towards black people. Such as um, a chicken spot and church. Well, not not saying that black people are the only ones that go to church, but church is a you know small little problem in the black community. It's a very important problem. We're gonna get to that later. We'll get to that later. And as well as a hair salon where a lot of people like to you know black specifically black women. A lot of them like to straighten their hair, right? But we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, and so. They found the lab and realized that they were being cloned, right? And later in the movie, you know, after 
trying to maneuver themselves to avoid being uh, caught, which they eventually did, but they still managed to push through and, and get fight. Uh, well, the people that were cloning them and using their whole community as a experiment. Pretty, pretty good synopsis, you know. With the minor interruptions. Like you, like what what, 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 do you think I was doing with it in my head, bro? Gonna, like, what do you think I was I doing? Gonna, Obviously, I'm turning it off. I thought you were gonna forget to turn it off. Well, so I'm just because I remember you just slammed it. So, 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 it just interrupted me, and I just hold it in my hand, just to hold it in my hand. Obviously, I'm gonna turn it off, bro. You just do the whole movie, bro. Yo, 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 we're watching a movie and we see some some, 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 some like 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 some. Like, <laughs> you some, 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 some take the time. Some in a church and he's and he in the back. Oh, they in the church. Like no. Bro, like, that. Why are you this some, my name things along those Not lines, bro. It's you see and you're like, huh? You know, it's it's there. You know. No, like, first of all, I wasn't saying it for y'all. I was just saying it because I They say it in your mind, bro. I, 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 I naturally react out loud. Like, this man said, ooh, yeah, the yeah. element is gone. <laughs> 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 it's like, yo, Really? All right, but, okay, we can't all give an explanation. It's going to take, yeah, take a while. Yeah, it's going to take a while. But all you right. did a good job covering Thank uh, you. a lot of the bases. You. You know, also, on that part, we can't use the the audio because we were extremely loud just nah, now. Right. They could just he could just start down. We'll see. But the, we'll also look at the the community. It was set in Chicago, Illinois, right? Mm-hmm. So, so how, one thing I did, I liked about this movie is that it was very inconspicuous on my, when it was set because it would reference stuff from the modern time. But for some mm-hmm. reason, all the technology we've seen was was ninety centered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, but like uh, but at. when we looked at like the government, like what they were doing, their um their uh like technology was like you know high tech so no it, they weren't no it wasn't no all the all the computers were old in the in they the, had, they had in the lab yeah old computers they had cassettes yes they did it was they old. was using tape they was literally using video recorders like what, what think, type of I high that, level government agency was i think that it was made to play the part since they were like inside of like the like the fried food like management part and they said all right just in case it's not like that's coming i think the only thing that was high tech was like <laughs> shut up shut up shut up <laughs> I think the only thing that was high tech was the the prison cells that they were holding all the captors in, because mm-hmm. they had the little the buttons. It was kind of like hologram, like. Yeah. But besides that, they didn't have no cell phones, no smartphones. Yeah, but they would have well, required something like that, that type of technology for the cloning, like um, t- uh, captors. Yeah, but science. It's like science fiction. Obviously, <clears throat> they have the they have the technology in terms of science fiction, but they didn't have any it fiction. But you know, continue. Science fiction. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe we don't know. They yeah, kind of did that to Kanye, but in terms of science fiction, they had the technology to clone someone and the mind reading and all that, the mind control and all that stuff. However, but they didn't. We didn't see no <clears throat> modern day cars. We didn't see any modern day televisions, radios, they have, like, the or big, telephones. They did have like the big like um like SUV though. That was a modern day. That no, wasn't modern day. That that SUV oh, yeah. been out here. Yeah, yeah been. <laughs> that, that, that's well, a classic well, SUV. Well, in order to perform those type of actions. Those yeah, no, but okay, that, so that's in the universe. Okay, so there's two plausible cases, right? It's either the um they purposely uh kept that community mm-hmm. in like a um in like a retro uh like time, capsule, time period, right? Yeah. While they while the outside world was still high tech, because they mentioned they referenced nine eleven. Right? They reference 911, 50 Cent, yeah. um, Bitcoin. Yeah, all and all these things, things yeah. is like when Modern we have day. phones like this and cars where are high tech. But they didn't have flip phones. Though. They did, no, like the, the people in no the people inside, in the community, the community they have flip, flip phones. phones. So it's but, probably early two thousands then. Yeah, but we didn't see what they had. no the iPhone was out um like early two thousands was it like first iPhone smartphones came out, I think no no not, not even like iPhone like yeah, smartphones early, came early, out early, uh, smartphones came out like yeah well, two thousand nine two thousand nine yeah so they probably they. So it was probably the most believable year this could have happened is two thousand and one. A smartphone, not iPhone. I see iPhone came out like two thousand one. I know seven. iPhone copied um iPhone copied uh Samsung, didn't they? Well, not, not, not with the first Sam. No, not with the first. No, with the smartphone. No, 
they no they 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 both use different parts of like each other to actually help. I think I no, no, like the foot and the very runs for a smartphone. No, 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 no Samsung. No, Jack. No smartphone. It was an iPhone. Who dropped? <laughs> 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 Who dropped the first? <laughs> Yo, bro. Why did you put drop, bro? <laughs> That's not a smartphone. Who? What is Unless this? Unless you consider that a smartphone, Horace. What is that? The first touchscreen phone. Wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh la la. <laughs> All right, but like for argument's sake, to be, you know. It doesn't really. matter. All right, fact doesn't matter is that they were set in the time where an iPhone should have definitely existed. If it's not late. Like, or not iPhone, but like past nine eleven, a smartphone. Past not. Past nine eleven. The, I- the first iPhone came. This out is after. clearly after nine eleven. Yeah, yeah, it's after 9-11 but it could have been between the period of before after nine eleven, but before the first smartphone. Yeah, that's still a lot of time like, yeah. in between. Okay, let's uh, let's still say for this is like such a minor. No, this is actually a pretty good thing to talk about because we it's it's hard to determine where in the timeline this movie is set. To be fair, it still could have been set in the early two thousand. Yeah, it could have been set in the because early 2000s. like they had. So it was certain things in that situation where it could have still been early mm-hmm. through time. Relax. <laughs> so relax. Like, he's like he's steaming because we're, we're trying to figure out <laughs> what this movie. No, no, I'm saying set. like it could actually like oh. be in the early 2000s. Yeah, and it makes the most sense. Like it's not as advanced, but at the same time, it's still modern. So it had to be placed. Yeah. So in it, the, as I said, there's two possibilities. Is either that was the case, or they truly were yeah. set back that much. But the government truly uh, had like uh, advanced technology that they didn't expose to the outside world. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, it could be. Uh, it could have been that. Yeah. So, but it makes you wonder. Like, do you think they were having things in place to prevent people from leaving? Like, because Yo Yo was planning on leaving to Memphis the entire movie. So, do you think it was like a Scarlet Witch, like WandaVision situation, where they were like stopping people at the edge of town well, and telling them to turn back, or do you think it was? I think for her specifically. Uh, like the way how the guy reacted when he was like, "Oh, when, um, when she was like saying like I'm here too, you know, you don't have control over me," and he was like, "Oh, you're just a regular schmegular hoe." Right? He did not have to. Yeah, that was, that, that <laughs> was wild. Like that was, that was crazy. Right. So I think um like she was so. What? She was so like uh like insignificant that I think she would have been allowed to leave. I don't know about insignificant. I mean, like like not. I know, I know, but I'm saying like. Like in his eyes and to their whole mm. operation, because there was other holes. Mm. They, there was holes to replace her, but <laughs> at the end of the day, she was the one who fucked them over, basically. I'm good. You did it with style too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if we yeah, but let's talk about the places that they attacked here. Like they attacked um, church. No, the let's, like, the first place that they really attacked that they showed was the chicken joint. Right? They definitely no. Actually, well, are you saying like the one that we we know they show? Or? Yeah, the, like the first, like the first institution that they showed us hmm. that, they, that they direct, that they affected. Uh, we can, couldn't say it was the Motel Six. We could actually say, or it, we, we could actually say the store. We could say the liquor store. store. Yeah, liquor store. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that, but they didn't like really show that it was a re- that it was like a true effect thing. Because until the I, end, because there, there were staples I, that they. I, but we we decided that. No, we determined that the um that the convenience store was a part of it after they showed who the clerk was. No, that's not true. Cause look, um, there was they, they showed multiple staples of what's supposed to be a part of the black community, yeah, right? Yeah. It was the Motel Six. It was the block where all the hookers are at. It was mm-hmm. the liquor store. It was the fried chicken spot. It was the church, and it was the hair salon. Mm-hmm. So, but we're talking about institutions here. Those are no, but those are those are staples. We can't of, really call the block an institution. We can't. No, no. I, well, no, no, no. I think I, I think what Jeremiah is trying to say is like you know, it could be, it could be a staple, but I want to count it as like one of the main parts because the the, the store, like the liquor store, mm-hmm. that that is a good point because especially in the black community, they always try to add a liquor store. To make sure you know we stay. But it wasn't only a liquor store though. It was like a general deli, I think. No, it was a liquor store. Yeah. It literally I, said we got it, drinks. <laughs> I tell you no lie. Really? It, it said and he called it the liquor store in the movie. Yeah. yeah oh, it was like, um, it's kind of yeah. like I saw like chips and like other drinks in the back. I mean, obviously, a liquor store can have little snacks and stuff. But, but it, it, it was mainly liquor in there. Does that yeah, mean make it a drink, uh, liquor store only then? Like, yeah. Wouldn't it lose its liquor store? No. Wouldn't it be like just a deli that 
focuses alcohol a lot. No. Because first of all, first of all, del- delis don't have like that. A tr- no, a true liquor store would have just straight alcohol and beer. But I'm saying like a deli, a deli doesn't have like that screen that he and like that thing to transfer. You know how he had like that dip to put mm-hmm. the money in, and then he would get on the other side of the glass. Delis don't have that. Only liquor stores have that. I mean, it depends on where you go, though. I, have you, I, have I, you I, seen, I, I seen, seen no like deli that, that looked like that? That has a screen in front of in front of you. And you talk through like talk the day and he on the other side like the um, screen. Have y'all been in a Chicago that was placed in nineteen whatever? Man, we in New York. <laughs> exactly. No, that's, so that's more of a reason against you to <laughs> believe that. Like how how can you believe that? Because we've never seen something like that, so we believe that there isn't one. In a deli, like We get so off track so <laughs> No it, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, but yeah, so it showed these six staples of the black community. Because the reason why I said the block is because governments can still control the block in a sense. You know what I'm saying? They can still funnel hookers can, and drug dealers to that area. You could say that those are like key aspects or places, but an institution is a place that's a conductive business. That's what an institution I is. I mean, we're using an institution wrong. Is, is, that, is that not like yeah. a conductive business, though? Drug dealing? Because people, exactly. The block is a very, like... You're still making money, drug dealing, and being a Exactly. Because that. why do you think there's people over here killing each other for a block? Because that's, that's, that's a, a business spot. spot. A bit, yeah. yeah, that's a business spot. That's the equivalent to having, like, your own building. Like, that. That's, it's a block. Religion, education, social... And similar purposes. Yeah, so we're using. It's easier we're using it wrong. Yeah, you using the right <clears throat> All right. Wrong. But yeah, just I mean, it's a certain aspects. That you know, you can no religion. The church is 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 an interest is an institution that I was referring to. The salon would be social, right? As well, it, it's a business though. Okay. I don't think. It's a, I mean, if you if it's, it's, it says social. So, either so, way. Yeah. The right. block is important. I look no, okay. You can say the block is important, but I will put that as like a a sub a, a, a sub place to look at. Like a, I felt the main places that they were really trying to show was the church, the salon, and the chicken joint, and the liquor store. <laughs> what did he do? He farted. Hmm? You farted? No, my yeah. boy. <laughs> what you mean? You cracking up? You cracking up back there? You good, my boy? You good, my boy? <laughs> He's stressed. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. And then the liquor store. And the motel. Let's talk about the motel. Yeah. The motel. The motel, motel was, is not, like, I wouldn't call that an, institu- an institution that they were trying to, like, promote. But for the sake of... Sure. I mean, back then it kind of was. Yeah, because that's where the prostitutes... And the pimps usually congregate, and that's where the main character got killed for the first time. And then they tied him up again in the motel. Slick is always in the motel, mm-hmm. so maybe yes, the motel. but that wasn't an institution that they that the um, government was focusing. Do you do you ever see motels in white areas? No, but I'm, saying, I'm no. trying to show you. No, the no, 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 no. What they were trying to push, right? They were trying to push uh, the powder and the chicken, right? The um the the chemicals in the in the juice that they were drinking, and the um and the harmful material uh, substances within the hair product. Nah, this right. I mean, those, those were those are the three main things that had a place that they were um, pushing their stuff in. They didn't push anything inside the motels. They didn't push anything inside of the um inside the uh, the liquor store. They, I think you're going too literal. It's supposed to symbolize things that. The government thinks they can use to control us. It's so, like, for arguments, for arguments' sake, they could have put in a beauty supply store, and then they could have put in a Chinese store, and it would still have the same effect as if it was just a chicken spot and a salon. Mm-hmm. You get me, right? Yeah. They could have. They could have had a freaking daycare it, running out no, of some it's auntie's a, house. It's a matter of what they were like. Were they affecting it though? N- they, they were affecting it. They was using it as like a point of reference. Yeah, these things like somewhat control the. They try to use these things to control the black community. But I don't. I think you're taking it too. Yeah, but no, no. But like, I don't. You, no, like in, in like you would be like I would believe like you would be like correct, directly correct, if we were saying like you know, like real life. But I'm saying I'm saying for the sake of the movie specifically, oh, what no, they were no, pushing, sure. what they were pushing and focusing were those three institutions. Yes, yeah. in real life. The institutions would have been much more than those three 
places, mm-hmm. yeah. right? The liquor store, definitely the block, the motel, and all that stuff. But I'm saying for the first, for the sake of the movie, it was mainly those mm-hmm. three. Okay. That's what they saw. Because that's you're, what we saw. I think you're trying to say the message of the movie was that oh. Let's attack the chicken spot. Let's attack the salon. That's let's a, attack the church. No, that's only like a small percent of what they yeah, really, they truly they, they, they showed a lot in that movie. Like yeah, that but movie. it's but those are like the main things. I feel like those are like the three main big hitters of the black community, right? You Which feel like I, those are the three main hitters. Of like the black th- those are the big hitters, like fast food, uh, like hair salon and like hair products. Oh, hair salons. Black, well, yeah. Yeah. Put, um, like, huh? It's the hair products. Yeah, it's the products. Yeah, but like that's the place where they would like mainly push it or beauty mm-hmm. stores, right? But mainly the salon and church, right? Go no, disagree with that one. What do you mean? People use it's like they use church to distract from the problems that they need to face, and before they get angry and get together, well, most they said they they instead they get together and say fix our problems before they go out and fix most the of the problems. most of the benefits that have come. Through the black community have been through the church that's because the church originally was a meeting place for slaves and etc it wasn't mainly to band around religion but it was mainly a place even, where them even though like, it was a place for them to you know they but get most together. of the people who have influenced the most change in, within the black community have been religious people not even just christian church we're talking about but you have to understand Malcolm that they that they that they were often forced to accept those religions and it just forced. trickled down not really forced the yeah. most the, the most a, influential people there was have. a movie that one of my professors uh showed it's not even okay. the people can't even see <laughs> the camera best <laughs> We're not even, no. Tui, show your face real quick the, the, one of the professors you know he showed us a movie oh, oh, oh my god, god. Sit, sit down Stop. don't 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 get back up no chemistry all right <laughs> Hey, you, um, I, th- I forgot the name of the movie. It's like a k- uh, Kafu, some, some shit like that. It was, a, it was an African movie, um, and it was like an Africa. No, it was a Caribbean actually, Caribbean slave movie. And basically, like this woman, she didn't accept, uh, like you know, the Christian religion, right? She, she was out. She was really outspoken about it, right? She was a house slave, and late at night, took her, raped her, beat her, and branded her, and said, "Who is your God?" And you know. She was like, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Because, you know, she was being tortured and forced to indulge in that. And if that was someone else, right, a mother especially, when she bears her child, she's going to tell that child, hey, to avoid going through what I went through, the beating, the branding, and all that stuff, just for an easier life, believe in whatever this book says, right? And that's why most of us keep, like, you know, keep it to heart. Because yeah, right? really- we don't know where it comes from. Because originally, like in in terms of like slave in, in slave time, when they used the Bible and they had they had African Americans that could speak, that well learn. It was learn. the Bible. Okay, yeah, that's what <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, bro. Nah, why are we so mature? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you, no, you could learn. You could learn from the book, and sometimes the book they you the slave that that knew how to talk. They you used read. the book to um create messages. Mm-hmm. So they can, you know, try it to sounded escape better. Or eat, yeah, try it to sounded escape. better when somebody who could read, like a black person that could read, would relay the religion to the other slaves. Because obviously, like if the slave, if the white person was in there talking to yeah, about they're it, scared. they're scared, or they're not going to listen. Mm-hmm. But or they're not going to listen to it a certain extent. Like attentive, gonna, yeah, attentive. Yeah. But they see a black person, like oh, you know, he's reading, he he's writing, he's he's speaking. Yeah. Fluently, and he's actually teaching us, or teaching us something. Mm. Then he, we're gonna listen to him. So that's how it's, it's, that's how it just kept going. Mm. So, like, I don't think because with the church within the black community, most of the time that's the most positive part of the black community because sure it has sometimes cultural things, but that's where a lot of people are able to you know. First, lift themselves up it's through the church first it, it, it like like the As, church uh, drags us farther and farther away from uh from like our like getting back to our roots because the bible often would like demonize any other thought of anything outside of the bible right so if you say oh they talking about the spirits in my in my original culture and say like ghana right they talk about Akan, right they say brother nancy he was a deity Right, I wouldn't be able to explore that if I was a Christian, because the Christian would say, 
hey, don't acknowledge anyone as a god or anything like that except for me, right? It's stifling to a certain extent. Well, yeah, that's most like people who really don't look through the Bible like that because most of the the church leaders I, I've met, they've studied other religions. They studied the Jewish religion, the the Muslim religion. The but all, all of those are the same, though. All the all these. Uh, no, I'm saying all the rest of the beliefs. I was just saying the biggest ones, but they've studied the rest of the beliefs. The, no, no, the main ones that they do study are either Islamic, is is either Islam or Judaism, Buddhism. and all the. Not even, not even much, bro. I, they no, don't do that. A lot of them study Buddhism. It depends on where you go, but mainly the ones here. If they do focus the other, like other religions, they'll go for those religions, and those religions all have the same God, which is so stupid. When they start arguing, I'm like, bro, they're like, oh, I'm correct. No, I'm correct, bro. You have the same God, and yet you're still beefing. But, yeah. but, but no, like, hold on. Uh, like, what I was trying to get... say before was like, <sighs> yeah, your tangent you messed me up, bro. <laughs> Because I, like, nah, I had it in my mind, but I was like addressing what you said. Well, go ahead, go ahead. Speak. No, I was saying, but like to get back to the the gist of the movie is like the message the movie was saying was like they think the movie thinks that these things are what the government and the higher class, I guess you could say, are using to control us. So now, what are your thoughts on that? I feel like that's true. Because not- okay, I'm gonna backtrack to it later. Go ahead. Oh no, I was saying like. Because as you can see, and I actually, even though I didn't feel like watching it this morning, it was a good movie, I had to admit. Um, Like, in the movie, you would see certain points where you have the... They they showed, obviously, like, it was a whole conspiracy theory of what, you know, Mm, everybody... Conspiracy. Conspiracy, like, um, like everybody was getting cloned. 27. Okay. Everybody was getting cloned, but at the end of the day, if you look... Yeah. If you back, <laughs> if you you done, yeah. If you backtrack to the um, to like the the, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think I was you're good. You're bro. good. Then I was I was trying to like whisper. Like go ahead. Uh, you you speaking to them? You know? uh, and also me. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. what I'm trying to make. We, we got you. Yeah, we listen. Oh, we listen. Okay. We listen. So like basically, then I lost <laughs> my train of thought, bro. I, I got it. I got it. Right. Right, so basically, like, you went back and you saw how they had like a certain drug or a certain thing going inside. The um, establishments that we saw, like the, the chicken that they was eating, the um, even like they, they had like the drugs that they would they were um, even though they never showed anybody taking any drug or anything, but they would show like the drug that they used to put inside of the substances. So they had um, the, and they put it, they put it inside the communion juice that they would use at church. They were um, especially was, the chicken, was, well. the chicken. It was a chicken and and um and the and the perm. It was like the. Yeah, they used like a lot of, um, different product. I don't, I don't know different if they use the same product, but I think they were using like different products pertaining, like depending on the the institution. So if it was like for the hair products, I think they used something else because each yeah. of them was supposed to inspire a different reaction. So my question for y'all, in, when it comes to this movie and how it expressed, like, oh, these are the things that they're using to control us. They have it in our food. They have it in our product. They have it in our music. They have it in our drinks our media and our community right Mm -hmm. do you think that's meant to be taken literally like quite literally they're putting stuff in our food to keep us docile they're putting stuff in our music well the music i believe that that's the most believable one yeah but do you think they're quite literally funneling this stuff into our community to experiment on us or do you think this is meant to be a symbolic of something they have actual like uh uh like chemicals and like ingredients that they put into food to make you crave it, like you know that exists, right? No, I'm not talking. Every mean, obviously, but I'm, yeah, but I'm, I'm saying, talking about mostly towards the black community because yeah, so it, put everything it's, it's everything. a it's a combination. Like the the way how they made uh, the um like in the movie, the way how they like advertised like the chicken spot, right? They said um, they had like the music video with black people dancing and being happy, you know. Playing the music that like, that, that, that like they're familiar with, and also, um, fuck. like when they actually went to the chicken spot, fuck, I had it. I had it. No way, you losing. Nah, your it's I was, no, no, it's, 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 nah, it's, like, I'm, I'm no, it's because it's because like I like I'll be like looking at something and then just like 
I just start thinking about it. I'm like, wait a minute, what was I saying before? He was looking at Clorox. They got Clorox. I was like, I'm good. But now, nah, um, uh, yeah, it's both a, like a, it's both like a, phys- like an actual, like metaphorical sense and also a physical sense. Like they do put stuff in the food to make it more craving. But at the same time, I saw like um, uh, some of the posters that they had for it to advertise it. It's like two dollars for it, and the best way to advertise food to like black people, especially in a poor country, food. is uh, community is make it cheap. Right, that's why I mean, that's why I mean the McDonald's is doing so well. Cause like their food is cheaper, and they have um, they have a lot of deals if you go on their app. Mm-hmm. Right, that's okay. what makes it like very much very appealing. But with McDonald's, in a sense, do you think that the government? I don't think the government funnels McDonald's into black communities. Their food, bro, no, the fu- no McDonald's is like their food is terrible. Like it's they're, it's not good for you at all. It's not good for you. Yeah, yeah. But, but he's saying like in because because there's McDonald's everywhere. That that's mm-hmm. there's yeah. McDonald's anywhere you go like yeah. in the world. So the it's world, like so. you you um. So I think he's saying like. But the thing is, like, you would catch more black people with it like, for, than you would with other. Like for example, Chinese stores. You 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 won't find a lot Chinese of Chinese store like in a white that. neighborhood. A Chinese mm-hmm. store like a black community, you're not gonna find that because when you go to a white community, you, you find, find a Chinese, Chinese restaurant. Yeah, restaurant, store. Chinese restaurant. No, no, yeah, that's what I meant. Like a Chinese yeah. restaurant. You yeah. find yeah. a Chinese. You find a Chinese restaurant in a white store. No, no, no. No, you won't find a Chinese store. Well, that's the, I'm trying to say like a Chinese. You probably find like one, like. One and if you do try, and if you do find a Chinese store, like it's usually much more up class. Yeah. Yeah. And like richer sides of the neighborhood than but, when you find a Chinese store in the black um, neighborhood. But the point of the movie is like stuff that they specifically funnel to the back community. Because the one, the thing that I thought about was when throughout the entire movie, it's like when the FBI funneled crack. Yeah, and like put crack in the black community and kept us down. But do you think they're doing that with other products, like with the music? Like, do you think the government is controlling the music to put us to right. keep us yeah. docile, or do you think they're letting us, like ourselves? It's, do I think that? it's not to make us docile, but more to uh, like influence us to have a certain behavior. Like, if you when you watch the movie, you'll see that uh, in one of their chambers, they had two black people and they played. Like uh, music that was like along the lines of like drill or like you know mm-hmm. hard, like a really like hardcore rap or whatever like you know when they tell their stories of their gruesome. The song is called "Kill a Motherfucker." <laughs> and they started fighting, right? So, uh, like music and music is powerful. Like yeah. music can control your mood. They can, right? And the fact that they were able to do that shows that, and you know, the people that actually like partake in violence like that in the movie. They, if you look at their playlist, they have a bunch of songs that are along those lines, right? Along the lines of say like I don't even really know none of these artists. Hey, you, you, you wouldn't, K-Flock you wouldn't. K Flock, T Grizzly. Yeah, like uh, uh, like really aggressive music. You're gonna hear, hear the like the same people that do the shootings and shoot other black people or, or gang banging and stuff. They listen to the, they listen to the around the same type of music. And then you had um, and also you saw I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was a. Uh, it was an African lady, African American lady sitting in a chair. They had her eyes open, yeah. and she was watching like a clip of like these girls that were saying, "Oh, like you're not pretty, you're not pretty." Mm-hmm. So like in the establishment, yeah, like, they show a lot of white, white women as well. White women. So like, and it, you see how throughout time, black women were like they were come, they were they came. Yeah. White women came at black women because of their hair and how they looked. So. Now it's like they always say, "Oh, they don't look pretty because of their hair." So that's why they came at perm. That's what it, well, that's what perms were. They they made it straight to look like white women. Mm-hmm. They had like the so, ads for the um for like the hair products as well. Like they said, straight is beautiful. Yeah, they kept on saying that. Yeah. And well, that's what a lot of like the um the older uh like black women believe, right? Just to set themselves in the time in the same time frame. And then now it's like it, even nowadays now, it's starting to like fluctuate a little bit. Like yeah. it's starting to bend over to like nowadays afros and locks and, yeah, and it's braids. Back and forth, yeah. But still, like you can see the difference because like um like when you see like New York girls, right? Most of them, like at least like half of the population of them, or a good chunk, or probably even three quarter, have braids. Or wear afro, or have like you know like a messy bun or locks, yeah. right? But when you see like the um like the African girls that shoot off the boat, right? Or like African girls that immigrated here at like an early age, you see they would like often have straight hair, like they often rock that, right? 
that's just what I've seen. Like, you know, other people have other experience, but that's what I've seen. I noticed that because, you know, they didn't, like, uh, African, like, people, like, people in um, Africa, they didn't really have, they weren't really exposed to, like, the change that African Americans had yeah, with their culture. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I just got to stop, you know, destroying y'all here. It's yes. like, I know y'all might feel as if a guy or, you know, especially us, if we come at you and saying we don't like, I, I, don't, I really don't think any guy will, like, come at your hair as long as you're taking care of it. And like it's not dirty or it stinks, then they're not gonna really come at you. That's not their first thing that they're gonna come at. But any young people that like see this, bro, like tell like whenever your parents are like telling you, hey, you need to cut your hair and look presentable or look good, the or that's like that's the, hard no, yeah, it is like the origin of it is like when uh, we had like some like what we would call crazy, but they had like some very unique hairstyles when they were fresh off the boat. Yeah. You know, they had like it was just it was like so creative, right? You could look it up. And then during the stay time, they said, what is this on your head? Yeah, shave, they, it they shave it off. Right? They shaved it off. That's why, uh, like, most of them, most of the, like, the parents want you to have, like, a skinhead. Because it's, it's, it's resembling being, you know. And what did they say in the movie? The main problem with why the whole thing couldn't work was because of the hair. Yeah, because yeah, our hair is so powerful. Yeah, like, uh, really like I, don't, I don't know if you caught it, but like, go in depth with what he said. I want to explain it. Yeah, I, I was, if you want me to. Yeah, go ahead. Um, no, I was saying, like, because at the end of the movie, we found out the antagonist was an older version of. The main character. The main, the main character. character. <laughs> I, no, we really forgot his name. Already. No, it was um. T- it was so black. I forgot it. <laughs> yeah. For, um, Fontaine. 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 <laughs> wow, that's a black name. Fontaine. <laughs> so black, we forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Fontaine, for real. No, so yeah, it was um, like the it was an older version of uh, Fontaine. He was basically like the main antagonist, and they show he was saying that the main problem of why we couldn't complete. Everybody, it was basically trying to turn like everybody white or like a, a, mm-hmm. what, what they said. Called? Integration was better yeah. than annihilation. So instead of uh, like you know having black people rise up and you know basically like physically fight white people and probably end up in a, in a like a gunfight. Like, yeah. Right. He said, "How about we just like integrate and turn integrate everybody. ourselves like heavily by changing our appearance to look more like them." And then he showed how he was saying the main problem why he couldn't get. Um, the full white person at the, the time. The full, the full tra- thank you. The at full the transition time. at the time. At the time was because the, the because of the hair. Their hair was so powerful that it, it remained being curly. It couldn't be straight. So their skin turned white. Their nose got straight. Every, right. Every, they every, lost their lips and everything. But, but their hair they, they still had it's still kinky. Every person that you saw that got experimented on, they all had afros because yeah. you can't change our hair. Our hair is. Unique compared to any other race. Yeah, when you watch the movie, like, or just when you rewatch the movie, or even you can even look back, you see that the DJ in the club, staying pale, like white guy with the afro. The scientist in the beginning, white guy, afro, oh, and the clerk afro in the first place, <laughs> and a, and a, and the clerk um, for the uh, for the liquor store. You got you got like pay pay yeah, attention. attention to the yeah, yeah. yeah, that's one thing I yeah, like. Dimes in there. They like they hit a lot of stuff like. I don't know, like, I feel like they hit stuff within the music, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, not when they was talking about the control and stuff. I'm talking about, like, the music that they played, like, when they were u- using the radio and stuff. I s- felt like those songs were significant within, like, how it told its story. And, like, they had stuff within its background. You you could, you could probably find a bunch of messaging within the posters yeah. and stuff like that. I wanted to pause and, and look at some of, the posters, and, uh, some of the posters that they showed. It, it, it was kind of good how they had... Like the main three people being like one of the most unlikely, neg- no, yeah. unlikely but negative mm-hmm. outlooks on the black yeah. community. Like a, a a pimp, a, a pimp, <laughs> a prostitute, and a drug dealer. That that was the per- that's why I actually like this movie because they use the most thing that people see as negative on African Americans mm-hmm. and they use that to say, oh, they have to change. Like, they yeah, they're saying like change. they changed and yeah, they, they changed. was able to change the entire yeah, community. They, exactly. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're saying like saying. it doesn't matter if you a hoe. A pimp or a drug dealer, you can find the truth if you look. If you if you just open your eyes and look past all of the they could. unnecessary and just government crafted beef that you have with your peers. If you just look past that, you will see what they're doing. And they they're even saying like you know somebody they could even say like as low as like. 
Because it could be as, as high and powerful as an African-American businessman to as low as a prostitute. So it's like, at the end of the day, we're still all people. We're You're still like, all black people. We're all still all black people. So it's like, no matter who it is, you can still change your community. And the fact that the people, because if you look at drug dealers and pimps, especially back then, drug dealers, pimps, prostitutes, they were probably like the main focus back then. Mm -hmm. So for them to come together and actually take over and in one of the scenes, you saw the pimp, he got all, like, even though there was different yeah, he gang, got the, he got the gang, leaders, right. gang, he got the gang leaders and all that gang stuff. And they're all different gangs, which would show in real life. Imagine we can do if it. We, if all gang members and gang leaders came together and, you know, actually, like, tried to make a, bro, they, a move inside the community. It they would, did. They could not stop us. They that. did, bro. I don't, like, I don't know what happened to that, but um, when uh, the beating of, um, what was his name? Like you know, um, like the guy who got Rodney King, the being mm -hmm. a Rodney King. When you do like more research, and like you see like some like the videos that they had, like the interviews, they had like the Bloods and the Crips, at, um, in like a certain location, bro. They was talking like rational people, like they were like, "Yo, you we squashed our beef because our, our brother is our brother got beaten and assaulted in the street." When you expect us to keep on fighting, like you know who we, we need? yeah we like they got like they got together Michael and Jackson. said hey. Michael Jackson was able to bring Bloods and Crips in one music video, bro. Yeah, like real Bloods and Crips, bro. Like, bro, <laughs> just look past look past all the stupid stuff that they put in front of you because I won't say that none of it is like you. Know, no, I will say that none of it is like your fault. They put you in these communities. And they purposely left these communities to rot. to rot, yeah. right? They they left them in the dirt, and most and some of them were born in that, and you have nothing else to do except for to embrace and, it in order to survive. And if you, oh. that's one thing I noticed with the movie character art, because there is like, because the thing about how it reflected the black community is like they had the character arc when the character gets hope to for change. And the hope gets shut down, right? And we see like um, the character Fontaine, right? He he starts to become like complacent. He becomes docile. And it wasn't. I really like this. It wasn't until he had his conversation with the newer generation, Junebug, the the kid, right? It was that when he realized it's like yeah, well, like I responsibility. Yeah, you got responsibilities and stuff. And I like I can't just like sit there and let this happen, right? Yeah. And that's when he went to go meet Slick and go save Yo Yo and stuff like that. I do so, say. Like, oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So it's like it shows that like sure like we had a rough rap, right? And like we were put in with, a lot of us put in very shitty crap, like crappy situations and like it like it puts us at a disadvantage, but like if you we choose to hmm? you have yeah, we, we, to we can't we can't remain like that. We can't just be like we can't continue to be like, well that's just the government and like we ain't never gonna like move forward and stuff because it, it starts within the community. If like mm -hmm. if we like keep pushing forward through the community like there's not really anything that the government can really do to stop us here. And they keep showing, and they kept showing Junebug, and you know how they say, because the kids are the future. So they kept showing him because they kept saying, you know, if you're not going to do it for yourself, do it for the future of, of African American yeah. kids. You gotta realize that, like, um, like these kids nowadays, like, no kid is gonna grow up and just say, all right. I would become a gangbanger. No, they were they were inspired and influenced, and also due to their situation at home, they felt like this is the only way to to go, right? But those gangbangers, right? You have an obligation to like you know the youth is going to be looking up to you. So I understand that you're probably already set in your ways, right? And like you you're gonna continue doing what you're doing until you can't do it no more, right? And that's not good. But at the very least. Keep the young children out of it. Like keep the new generation out. Also, it might be too late for you. It's not too late for the children. Also, black people, like black parents, stop forcing your kids to go straight to college. It ain't. I know it's like not pretend, but it's also in the black community. Mm -hmm. Stop forcing your kids to forcing your kids to go to college. If they want to go to college, then let them go to college. Let them experience that, but mm -hmm. don't drill it into their heads. That college is the only option. Yeah, the kids understand. The kids understand that that's what you had to go through to succeed, and that's pro that's probably like the only way that you were able to succeed at the time, right? That's that was your mentality. College was the only way out for you, but 
there's uh, there's multiple different multiple options ways. legal ways to to make a successful lifestyle mm-hmm. like, also if you don't know what you're going to do in college don't don't go Bro. <laughs> like you, you're better off taking a leap year. Yeah. Right? At the very least. If you if you do don't, not know, don't gap force year, it. Not a gap, leap year. Gap year. Oh right, gap year. Like <laughs> go travel for <forward. laughs> <laughs> oh, no. uh, take a take a gap year. Like if you really don't know what you're doing, don't waste money. Yeah, no. Because it's, it's it's all it's all money. It's all money making. Everything. Right? Just... So waste the money and leave. So if we look at the characters, which characters did y'all like the most within the movie? My boy I, Isaac, bro. <laughs> my boy. You like Isaac the most? Nah, nah. I, I see. My favorite. My favorite. It's not because he's one of my favorite actors, but. I was going to say Slick. <laughs> it's Slick Charles? It kind of was. I'm not going to lie. Mm. I like Yo Yo. Yeah, yeah, she, 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 she was. was yeah, she was smart. Yeah. Yeah. Yo Yo was very tough. She was like. It's like, it's like the show, like, uh, even though. Oh, that's even another thing. It's like you see never judge a book by its cover. Mm-hmm. You see how she's a she's a prostitute, but she was really smart though. I did thought she was gonna be the most useless one in the movie too. That's but the she, was mm-hmm. smart. she was one of the most useful yeah. ones in the movie. Bro, she was the clutch. That, the yeah. There's there's another like like message in there. Like when the men lose hope, you have to understand that a oh, women always holds met like holds women, like everything together. I don't, I don't understand how right? Like all all the women. movements, like civil rights movements and stuff, more often than not. Though you had like you know the main leader in charge, right? Which is probably a man, like the face of it, behind that, behind the scenes, orchestrating the orchestrating the marches, orchestrating the protests, and all those stuff was a woman. A woman oftentimes is the organizer of of, of these uh, accomplishments that we had, behind right? A strong man is a strong woman. Yeah, like, and without a strong woman, you're gonna have a weak man. Have a weak man, right? Yeah, yeah, women. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, put so much on us, but it's like we we are. Ve- I could say in a word, we are very gullible. Like if you guys tell us something, or if you know, if we especially if we really like you, if, we, if we you guys it. tell us something, trust. Yeah, we we're gonna. There's so much trust that yeah, we, so there's much so much trust, that, trust that we put in our women because it's the same woman that raised us, right? Same woman yeah. that brought us into this world. So it's natural that we would trust women very often, but like. These women like they like to play. Some of them like to play around with that trust, and, and, and that's use, how you get. That's how you break up the dynamic between them. And you end up break, making men that love to go out here and cheat. And because mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, men don't start off as cheating, disrespectful people. It's it's obviously a reason why they do that, and it's because they got their heart broken or something like that. Mm-hmm. But if I just say my favorite character, I mean, I would say I resonated with. Fonte more mm-hmm. Cause like I would've dead been angry If they were cloning me and shit And if I saw my past self I would've probably Walled out the same way I, I look he saw A little character arc Within Fonte Because yeah. At first It was his pride He went from being like A hmm. ignorant black man To a Cause sit down The first seat. reason Why he was yeah. like So curious Is like He was angry at first Not because like David was experimenting On all this He wanted to show That he had He was his own person Yeah He was like Ain't no, ain't no nigga like me, right? Type joint. But then it was like as he continued to realize, hey, this ex- this affects more people than just me. You know what I'm saying? And they also using me to like hold my community down. as like, well, I gotta change my situation here. And we love those little character arcs within a thing. Like Yo Yo had her character arc where I noticed the line where. Jamie Foxx said, like, oh, that's why I call you Yo-Yo, because you keep coming back, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it shows that, like, so even found then, purpose. yeah, it shows that, like, on. you can't even, like, expect that from her, you know what I'm saying? It was like, mm-hmm. she, she was able to change and not come back eventually, you know? Mm-hmm. And then we slip back, you know? What was, what do you think, Slip, um, Slip Charles? Yeah. I think, was? like, like, later on, like, him, I think it was just, like, a regular... Accepting more respect for women because, like, yeah. remember, like, in the beginning, he, like, you know, he was a pimp, you know, had his prostitutes and all that stuff, right? But then later on, it's like he started to appreciate the value of a woman. That's why, like, in um, like, later on, it's like he was about to like confess his like feelings and you know, mm-hmm. and respect towards yo yo, right? I feel like he gained the trust and respect of women, which is equally as important. Right, once you meet that one right woman, yeah, there's, like, there, yeah, there's, you change a lot. And you notice that with Slick, he was the one who was least, you know, with the with the action, and then it was 
at the end, he was the one who was able to lead the charge because he did. He he wasn't into like he didn't want to get involved. Yeah. This, yeah, but then he turned into the person who would lead the charge. Orchestrate. Yeah. yeah. So that's it has very good character arcs in here. Mm-hmm. You know, so as I said, this was really this movie good. was very very good, very very good. Like, it should have really been a movie to be honest. I, like, I feel like like because like, this this would have been my second time watching. It. I watched it earlier, but like I saw like new things every single time like I watched it. I feel like there's so much more, so I like definitely would like suggest like rewatching it and just really like paying attention to the background, the music, the posters, the people, like the characters. Like you'll find some interesting. The references stuff. with the real life, you know, mm-hmm. it has yep. a lot of those too. So, so like, you know, before we go, um, how would you how would you rate this movie? I'm not gonna lie, it was. Y'all can say whatever you want, you know, I might be easy going or whatever, but I'm gonna call it a ten out of ten. I really did love the movie. I really I, did. I, I'm gonna say that. shit. I feel like if they had more help or more of a, a bigger budget, it could have came like out. The fight scenes. Yeah, fight scenes. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been it would have been a lot better. But it was still good. So I would say I'll give like a nine twenty five. I'll give it a nine, yeah. The fact they even got Jamie Foxx in, so I know they mm-hmm. have to pay a little, a little bit spread out. <laughs> Also, Jamie Foxx, he's, he's an open actor. Like he'll, yeah, he, yeah, he, he do his anything. range is so perfect. Like, yeah. But that was a good, like that was a good um, character that he got to play. I think that was Oh shit. Johnson. Nah, Brian Tyree. Nah, you know I, no, I rec- nah, I recognize him. Remember, um, like when they were in the sh- uh, when Funk they were in the. Do, it was that guy who was like selling stuff. No, no. Remember the guy um, when they were uh, in the store and they were about to like go into the um, like the pimp was about to go into the thing, right? And he okay. was. Like the elevator and he was asking the clerk he was like hey point me towards the elevator right the guy with the fan he did that, that yeah was that was him like when he shot like when he shot he's like oh right like when he did that i was like oh shit that's him that's gotta be him hmm. brian tyree they should i wish he had a bigger role in that movie. That was Mr. Johnson. yo who is this awky ass white dude bro when did we see him? <laughs> who is this <laughs> dude? i don't want to say his name i feel, I feel, I feel i'm going it wrong mm-hmm. Homie. <laughs> yeah. homie, homie one, homie two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the deacon, no. Hmm. All right, let's try it right. Yeah. So, Great. they clone Ky- Tyrone. Fantastic. Definitely go check that movie out. Tell us your thoughts about it, or watch it again. Watch it, watch, watch it. it. Share it with your friends. You know what I'm saying. Right. Let's start a discussion. About that, because I feel like that's a very important movie, mm-hmm. and the advertisement with Netflix wasn't that like big with that. So like, yeah. we got to advertise it for well. ourselves, then you know. Yeah, they didn't promote it that well. Yeah, but so. hey, if you got any other like movie recommendations, like something like that, where we could like you know really look into like deeper meanings, by all means, send it to us uh, via Instagram uh, message or, or the put comments. in the comments. Yeah, because we're we not that big yet. If we can, official deep end. That's the name. Official deep end. Official deep end. Well, <sighs> all right. Thank all you for right. coming. Flat out.